Hey, what's up guys? Breaking's back again. I know I've been gone for a while now. Uh, I'm going to show you my last one, two, three, four, five, six pickups for the past two, three weeks maybe. I did go to the States and uh, I did pick one shoe up. Just wanted to make a quick video just before the Pacers game. And here we go. First up, we have the KD 5N7. This is my first pair of KDs ever. Um, I actually used these for ball, for a one ball run and my first concussion. Cushion is great. I got a half size down on these because they do fit a little big. I feel like once the upper breaks in, it will really wrap your foot really well and lock your foot down. And the cushion was great in the forefoot. Air Max is great. Traction was awesome. As you can see from our previous videos, I'm a big LeBron and Kobe shoe fan. This is actually my first pair of KDs and I found this one the most comfortable out of all of them. And uh, I'm glad with my purchase. Definitely excited to use these for basketball. Next up I have the Summit Lake LeBron 9s. Changed it to blue laces. Did you know why? The person on eBay who sent it to me, the laces were like half destroyed. Look at the lace tips on that. Freaking destroyed. Looks like some dog bit on it or something. But I was gonna change it to blue laces anyways. I picked these laces at the Nike store, 54 inches. Looks great. Really like the white speckle on the blue midsole. I already wore these once, that's why there's a little dirt on it. Thought those was a really good pickup. I think it's kind of like an eBay steal, it's like 140. I thought I thought that was a great price. Um, these were stained a little bit, but I cleaned them up with just a mark. You remove some stains. And these are good. To this go. guy here was the pickup of the states. Got them visibility cloaks. Penny fives. These guys definitely don't need an insole swap. It really depends on your foot shape, though. Uh, personally, I just picked up a Dr. Scholl's gel insole. I hated the insole that was originally in it. I need some four foot cushioning because uh, there's no zoom air here. Some some people thought there was a uh, zoom air cushioning right there. But uh, oh, got the stuff right there. Gotta clean that off. Really like the colorway from the transition of the purple gradient to the green. Then you got your heel tab back there that says the stone is over and your penny logo. And then you got your teal swoosh and penny logo again. Just a really great colorway, looks great on feet, especially with some black jeans. Let's take a look at the other one. This one here says part two heaven sent. Right there. Just a great colorway. Next up, we have the LeBron 10 Carbons. Really like this shoe because it's all black, yet it is like a metallic silver at a different angle. Just like the invisibility cloaks, I like it to be like in two different shades. I can rock these with anything. Got your silver swoosh, the black outline, dynamic flower in black, silver swoosh again. Really liking the Tom logo. It's like a glittery silver. And you got a blackout bottom. And as always, you got your visible suit all along the bottom. Nothing special here. Just a very comfortable shoe. I personally thought these were too bulky for ball, but uh, I am loving it as a casual shoe. Just an everyday kick. Next up. We got all Volt Flyknits. This is my second pair of Flyknits. In my first video, I'll leave a link down there if you have not seen it. I did a mini comparison of the Flyknit Trainers and the Flyknit Ones. And um, I let one subscriber know, I'm not sure if anybody else read it, that the Flyknit Trainers on the back are the heel tab. The heel tab here is usually on the fly knit trainers were attached on the inside and it kept scratching on the back of my Achilles and eventually started bleeding and it started leaving a blood stain right there. And uh, these, surprisingly I found out later, they fixed it and then they put the heel tab on the outside rather than attach it to the inside. 
So these fit like a glove. So comfortable, much better than the Zoom. That's just my opinion, definitely go try it on. These do have a weird fit. I'm known to be a size 12, and uh, I got a size 11 in these because I want them to be sock-like. Very light shoe, very comfortable shoe. I'm probably gonna use this as casual, and then my other pair is a runner. Very comfortable shoe, definitely go check it out. The black swoosh really sticks out on the Volt pattern. It's actually not all Volt. On upper, it's mixed in with some white stitching, so that's why it looks kind of pale. Really, really cool colorway. Here's a close up. As you can see, the black swoosh is stitched in. Right here, all lunar long bottom. Very comfortable shoe. Definitely go try it on because the sizing is weird. Last but not least, another pair of Purple Kick. Gradient Purple or the Playoffs. I don't know why people are calling these the Playoffs. Because obviously the playoff editions are the elite shoes. As you can see, uh, it's a purple gradient, as the name says. It goes from a dark purple to a light purple, almost like uh, close to a pink, like a, a fuchsia. And then you got your, uh, I believe it is like a dark obsidian uh, midsole with uh, purple speckles. And then you got a 3M on the back. Then you swoosh it there. And then again, you got a 3M swoosh it there. Surprisingly, I did not know this, uh, uh, the tongue is like a synthetic leather, it's very plush, along with the side panel right here as well. You can see that the purple gradient goes along all around the upper, and then you got your reinforced uh, layer of pink around the toe box. Check out the other one. You got your pure platinum bottom, it's not a white, it's like a very, very light gray. It's not, doesn't make a big difference to me, but gotta be accurate with the uh, Nike Tallway standard bolt lunar long insole or insert. Such a comfortable kick, definitely go check it out. I will be giving a more detailed review, just showing you all the kicks that I've gotten over a couple days or a couple weeks I should say. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, definitely subscribe for more shoe footage and I'll start pumping out reviews in the next couple days. Catch you later guys.